guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now it's just, just gonna be one video because, you know, kind of easy because it's Jack Skellington. So at the end, I'm gonna do like a time lapse of me coloring and inking him, but I'm going to show you how to draw Jack Skellington dressed up as Santa Claus. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so I'm actually gonna start all the way up. I got a big piece of paper. I'm gonna start relatively up here with a small circle. So you wanna make sure this is really close to the top of your paper because Jack is really tall. So you can see it's like not exactly an oval and not exactly a circle, but it's like good enough. And I'm gonna actually just bring this down just a little bit, a little bit rounder. Okay, so we're just gonna lay out everything first. After that, you're just gonna go ahead, give him a really skinny neck in between. So like right about here would be the middle of her face. And here's a good old eye guy line for us to come back to. Make sure it's nice and round. All right, it's got the neck. Then what you're gonna do from the neck, nice and skinny, we're just gonna go ahead and make like this mass for right now. So this is like his torso because you know, he's really, really skinny. The skinnier, the better because he's a skeleton. <laughs> Get it? No. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead from here. You're gonna go out and then you're gonna go in. So we're just kind of putting everything, you can make it as angular as possible and we'll fatten up just a little bit, but it's not gonna be much bigger than that. And then from his torso, super skinny, super duper skinny. This side is a little bit more flat and then this side is a little bit more curved. So really, really skinny. And then I'm just gonna put a circle right here because his hand is kind of pressed up against his hip. All right, and then for this side, you're gonna bring down another arm, arm goes down and then up. And you're gonna make another circle just for his hand and you're gonna go ahead and just make a box so we're gonna just make a box for right now just like that all right and then from here you just kind of kind of circle this off just a little bit you're looking like a bug right now so you're gonna bring out one leg here this leg is gonna go out just out a little bit this leg over here, from this part, is gonna go straight down. All the way down. Like to the bottom of your page, like this is gonna take up the entire page. This one is actually, uh, I'm gonna kinda go get rid of that bottom half right there. This will go out and it's gonna go in. So you see it goes out, in, we're just gonna circle that off, and I'm gonna circle that off. Oh, I mean, circle it off, it just looks like nubs. All right, and then from this one right here, you're gonna make a circle, which is a pumpkin. He's got his foot propped up on the pumpkin. Okay, we've got the basic construction. The only other thing that I would add, you can add it if you don't want to, whatever is in the background, we're gonna make that swirly kind of mountain place that's in his pumpkin patch that he sings with. Not that he sings with it, but you know. So I'm starting from this side of the page, and then I'm gonna circle in. And then this part's gonna come down and off the page. So you're gonna wanna make this a little bit fatter, like just make that swirl fatter. And you can get rid of like this. The swirlier, the better. I totally just erased his leg. Anyways, you just want this in the background. Now, let's start filling in some details. All right, so starting with the top of his head, we're actually gonna put the beard and the Santa hat on. Let's start with the Santa hat first. So his Santa hat is really furry. So I'm just gonna kinda like put like a bunch of fur on top of his head, just like that. You know how the fur goes up different directions, and it's gonna come to right about on each side. So it kinda looks like hair, not exactly. And then, 
from the top we're gonna go a little bit inward so like right above where his circle is for his head you're gonna go up and then you're gonna go out and then from over here from this side of the hat you're just gonna start to bring out so you can make a little bit of a crease for that Santa hat and then you're gonna get a little bit angular here get those angles in Tim Burton loves his angles and then roundness of his drawing so this part gonna make it nice and round and then we got another angle and then this one's more angled so go this way and this one's gonna be angled this one's round and then we're gonna go right into a point And then you're going to draw the little floof ball. All right. Then from here, from his eye guideline, I'm going to keep this eye guideline. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. So I bring it down. Wait, kind of like. All right. So I've got this line here. And then we're gonna, now his eyes, really big, big old sockets, but they have like, you know, a more of a rounded pointed top to them. Same over here, he's looking at us, so we're gonna go and make that a little bit more defined. There we go, a little round on the top. Alrighty, and you just wanna kinda make sure Jack's eyes, you can either get them right or wrong. There's nothing like wrong to it. It's just that you gotta make sure they're really big because they're empty eye sockets and it's like his main trait. <laughs> All right, so we've got happy eyes for him. And I always bring up like the sides here just to kind of give like the bone a little bit of structure. So this is like his eyebrow area. So I always bring up those little pieces there. Then you're gonna like, you can make a little bit of a triangle to kind of help you place where you want your nostrils on him to go. So you're gonna make one nostril here and one nostril here and then you can get rid of the top. And that gives you a perfect Jack Skellington nose. Now he's happy in this one. So starting from here and we're gonna connect on this side from here. Big old smile. I'm gonna go down just a little bit and connect to here. So now we got a big old smile. We're gonna go ahead, give those lines. Not too many. Don't put too many or too far apart because then it just looks really weird. You're just gonna go through, give a couple lines. Cause yeah, if you do like a million on there, he's gonna look weird. <laughs> All right, so now we have his face. Now we're gonna give him his detached Santa beard. And we're actually gonna keep these little dots right here that we use to connect. We're gonna go ahead and bring out one side of the beard here and one side of the beard here. They're actually gonna go down and around and connect, kind of like he's wearing earbuds. So, you know, Skellington doesn't have fat on his face, so the beard doesn't fit, and that's why we can see his neck. And the beard, so you've got this part that's lining underneath. You're gonna go underneath here and underneath here and the beard's gonna go all the way down to his leg so we're gonna go all the way down here so I'm gonna go bring this down my sketchbook bring it down actually it's gonna go out a little bit more down out and curl And then you're gonna go down in a little bit, bring out that beard just a little bit more. And you're gonna curl into that. All these curly things. And there's his beard. And you can go ahead and get rid of what's inside of his beard and we'll make this look more fluffy. So his beard's pretty simple. You're just gonna go around 
and make it fluffy kind of like what we did with the top of his hat. Go add fur around the edges and then, you know, fur here. Just looks like a fluffy tail. Just pretend it's like a fluffy dragon tail. <laughs> Right, and you can go and get like later in the lining process you can go and just line the fur parts and get rid of the lines so if I get if I just go around and lightly erase and just add where I put the fur and you definitely want like a little fur up here too I won't go too crazy with the fur all right, the next thing is from this part, his torso is kind of sticking out. It goes out just a little bit and it goes in. And then inside the beard here, you're gonna make his belt. And you can see a little bit of his buckle. So here's the black part of his belt and then here's his buckle. Now from this hand, you're just going to do like a little bit of a roundness here from his beard. And then we're going to bring this out. And then you're going to go right about here and you're bring this out. So not that too of a wide arm. Very skeletal. You make this, I'm going to just kind of curve in here. And I'm going to make this the same width as this one. And it goes all the way down, all the way down into his, where his hand's gonna go. All right, this is where it gets a little bit complicated because we're gonna do a skeletal hand. So his hand, right here where we were going to draw this, we're actually gonna go ahead and draw like this rounded, kind of looks like a rice cake almost. So you get the rounded part, like a rounded triangle, all right? And then you're gonna make, we're just gonna draw like stick fingers first, one, arm, one finger. If you can make this look like a spider, you're doing it right. Two finger, three finger. And that's all we can say is like about three fingers. Now for, you know, you're just gonna go around and you can like fatten up the pinky first. And it's just like connected by circles. So if you wanna go to like the angles, totally other mother vibes going on. See, that's all I do for skeleton hands just to make it as easy as possible. You just make the circles and then fatten up the sticks, circle. It looks like, you know, a crab. <laughs> so that's all connected. And then like you want to keep this line and then you want to go ahead and for his wrist, you kind of go in and you like round off like the wrist bone. And that's all you really can see is like the wrist bone. And then we've got floof right here from his suit. So you've got the wrist bone that's like the connection from like your wrist into your hand. So that's that. And then go through and just kind of straighten up his hand a little bit more because skeleton hands are crazy but you kind of need to know it for if you draw jack skeleton so i'm going to cut off the end of his suit here and you're going to go ahead and make this nice and floofy too all right here we go another skeleton hand yay so we're going to jump over here and this line that we made we're going to make it thick like we were doing over here thick here Go up into the hand. We don't really see this much of that hand, so that's a good thing. All right, so we got this. We can kind of like flatten this a little bit, round it off, and we're gonna do spider fingers again. We got the pinky in front of the present, and then another finger just outwards like this. So you can keep this part, keep the angularness of it. I'm just gonna go through. Do my easy skeleton hands again. <laughs> circle, I'm gonna do a circle here. There's always like, I always do at least two little connection parts. I don't know anatomy and I'm not gonna try to look it up. I think I got a D in anatomy anyways. So I don't know what I was thinking. 
<laughs> All right, so <laughs> now into this part here, you're gonna go ahead and make that connection again for his wrist. We're gonna make it a little bit rounder though. You know, it's like your typical dog bone. Make it skinny. You know, I should have, I could have made bank. I know a guy who does anatomy sketches for books. I should have done that. I know what I was thinking. I should have paid attention more. Oh well. And he, he's rich. <laughs> okay. Yes. And then you're going to go through and make this floofy. And you're going to like, you know, leave that there. See how I cut that off? And there you go. Now, for this leg here, you're just gonna go straight down. So this is like the thigh part, and then we're gonna go down, 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 down. So this one's gonna go out this way. And we drew the swirly through it, but we're gonna go ahead and keep going this way. And go down, and this one, all the way down, relatively the exact same size. And then we get to the bottom, this one, the same thing. I wanna keep them. I'm gonna make this a little round here for his kneecap. So now you've got two legs. Now for his feet, you can't really see most of this one, so we're just gonna like go ahead and like round this off here. And you're just gonna kinda like make like an hourglass almost. See so you, how you made an hourglass? And I'm just gonna put like a little line on top. So I go in, make kind of like a diamond here, a diamond here, and then that will go straight up into his boot. And same over here, it's not the same. This one's facing towards us. And this one will be round off the bottom of the boot's heel. And then the front, you go up like a smile. And you're gonna go in, into the boot. And that'll all be like one all togetherness mass. <laughs> so then for here, about on his boot, he's got another little frillies here that like what we did on his sleeves. And I'm gonna go around and put that little fur there. And then over here, you're gonna put the fur like down here. Uh, actually, we're gonna make it like right about here. And you wanna, actually, you wanna put the fur on top. And like, that's that. Now, since we're down here, let's go ahead and draw like the pumpkin that he's got his foot on. All right, so we're gonna round off and make this look a little bit more of a pumpkin. Don't make it as a round. All right, so then you're gonna make just your typical triangle, a triangle. And you can make this look as twisted as you want. <laughs> so we get a little circle for a nose. And then with the smile, it kind of goes up. And then this is like in the snow. So I'm gonna continue right here. And then you're gonna go in and give it some teeth. But you will get rid of the line on top. And that way, it just helps me to like draw lines so everything looks uniform. And give teeth to that. And then some teeth below too. And you can go ahead and get rid of the line. There's the teeth. And we're gonna draw a little bit of like the pumpkin stem up here. But then we're gonna go ahead and draw the snow that's covering the top. So the snow's there on top of the pumpkin. All right. 
Now it's completely up to you, but in the portrait of Jack, there's like a couple of other pumpkins in the background. So it's basically like this, but what you do is they're going off into the distance because this hill is in the distance. So what you would do is you would go right here and draw a pumpkin here, same concept. And then you're gonna draw a pumpkin here, a pumpkin here, and a pumpkin here. And you could do a pumpkin here. And you see how it kind of goes off into the distance and it's going up this place. So what you want to make sure that you do is you want to give like the indentions that they're in snow, that the snow has covered them and that the snow is around them. Like they're sitting there, it just fell and it's like surrounding them on the ground. And you want to do that all the way up that way. Just about there, that's good enough. Don't, don't overkill it, you know. Overkilling is too much sometimes. <laughs> and you want to go through and you're just gonna draw the faces just like the one we did. So I'll go through, I'll speed this up really fast so I can just hurry up and draw all these little faces. Now the other thing that we have to do is his tail coat. So we're basically gonna go from behind his hand and I'm gonna lightly draw through his hand and we're gonna go out. And we're gonna go back in and then we're gonna stop right when we're pretending to go back into his little fingers and make the other tail coat and go right back in so you just see it's like it looks like a really skinny mermaid tail and it goes right into his hand because it's attached to his back his back coat and then you can get rid of that part and that part and last but not least let's dress up this present here so since it's Tim Burton we're gonna make it look as obtuse as possible so I'm gonna go in and just give a rectangle top here, a rectangle top here, go back, another rectangle. Well, I meant to connect these. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go over here, bring down this side, and then this side. Wait, I wanna bring down from the corner here, get rid of that line. And this corner will go down to here. Then we're gonna go right on, so what you wanna do is you wanna draw the bow first, and I'll go ahead and get rid of like the middle top of this. So you're gonna go up and draw a bow here, and a bow here, and I'm gonna go in the middle of this, draw a bow here, and you're just gonna create like a little line. Do the same thing, create a little line there so it looks a little bit 3D. Then from the middle, you're gonna go down, 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 and you're just gonna follow along like 3D wise and go down. I went a little bit behind this one just because to show that it's like the top. And then you're gonna go up and give a little bit of a ribbon tail here, and it doesn't have to be really curved, it could be as angular as you want. And I'm gonna make another ribbon tail here. And there's a present. So just to get, since it's a, such a big picture, you're gonna have to ignore my two tripod <laughs> legs here. So what I'm gonna do is, since this is just pretty simple because, you know, everything's basically white, I'm gonna go ahead and just jump into a time lapse instead of splitting this up into two videos. And I'm gonna color and line this. I'm gonna use my Ohuhu markers and my liners I've been using before. So it's like the PN and the 05. I'm gonna use those and just go right into it.
Alrighty, and there you guys go. There's how to draw Jack Skellington in his cute little Santa uniform, whatever. Costume, imposter, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you all later. Bye!